what I want to point out here before we shut the water off is this is going to fluctuate depending on if your pump is on or your pump is off. Remember we have on this house a 40-60 pressure switch. So when the water turns, the pressure gets down to 40, we're going to have less volume than when we're at 60. You know, just the uh, amount of pressure pushes more water. I did a house the other day that had a 2060. So I was actually seeing almost a three gallon per minute change between 20 PSI and 60 PSI. That would be way over our 10% variation we allow on a well, a well test. So that's why I like to use this because it also gives me a total gallon so I can actually calculate what our average was. And it should be somewhere in between those two. Now, if my numbers, my high, which is five, right now we're starting to fall, so we probably just turned off the pump. But if all of a sudden my high drops to, to four and my low drops to three or two and a half, then we failed our 10%. But just because I have more than a 10% movement here when the pump turns on and off, that, that's as long as it's consistent for our two hours, that's still what we're looking for. So some houses you're gonna turn the water on, we're gonna pump seven or eight gallons a minute and your pump's never gonna turn off. Especially when we don't have a cistern like that, then you won't see that fluctuation. But you need to pay a little attention and see what's going on with your well because you can call out things that don't really exist as a problem. And you don't wanna do that, it doesn't make you look good. The bigger thing is, if it is a problem, you wanna know that it's a problem and call it out. You can see we're kinda of dropping down right now. We're gonna get down to about four and then we can see the pump kick back on and it'll come back up. We're done pumping, we've done our two hour test. Now I'm gonna start taking some pictures of this site with the water running, then I'm gonna turn the water off and I'm gonna come back take a few more pictures that show I didn't cause any erosion. It shows that the whole test, we were pumping here. I've probably taken this same shot eight or nine times and my camera has a date stamp on it. So it shows, you know, every 15 minutes the hose is still dumping in the same place so nobody can say, oh, you know, that was where you started but you moved it over here. So remember, pictures are your best friend if you ever come down to litigation. Um, your client's not going to complain about this, but as soon as that septic system fails a water level test, the seller is going to accuse you of either running water in the house or running the water on top of their leach field. So this way you can prove exactly where you pumped it.